Hello, welcome to Artha Chitra. In this video, I will demonstrate the various features of the option chain view. To invoke the option chain view, we will go to new and we'll click on option chains. This will bring up the option chain view. In the option chain view, we have to select the columns and we have to select the strikes. Now, please do remember in the option, the option chain columns are same as that of the market scanner column. As such, you can custom code your own market, market scanner columns. Besides, you can also apply indicators besides obviously the price metrics, including Greeks if your connection supports so. So let us go ahead and apply some columns. We'll right click and click on the option select columns. In the column selected dialog, let's say we want to first view the price matrix like a last bid and ask. So we'll select the bid and here the ask. Now let's say since I'm connected to interactive brokers which natively supports option Greeks, we will add let's say the implied volatility and the delta. So we will add a couple of data type and here we will select implied volatility and for the next we will select the delta. Now let us add uh, the open interest column also. So we will select the volume data type out here and the market data type will be open interest. Now let us also add an indicator. So we will add the, select the indicator scanner and the bar type let's say we want to view on a 3 minute bar. So this will be minute, the bar value will be 3 and let's select the indicator out here. This is EMA and the period is let's say let, let, us, uh, let it be at 14. You can append any value out here. And now we are good to go. So let us click on OK. Now the columns as you can see have been applied in pairs. One for the calls on the left side and the puts on the right hand side. So here we have the instrument EMA, open interest, delta, implied volatility, ask, bid, last. This is for the calls. This is the strike price column and on the right, we have the last bid, ask, implied volatility, delta, open interest, EMA and the instrument column. This is all for the puts. So let us go ahead and add some strikes. We'll simply right click and click on the option select instrument. This will bring up the strike selector dialog. We've Say we wish to view the nifty options. So we will first have to select the underlying. That will be nifty index. Now we have to set the expiry date for the monthly contracts. Any date is of, of that month is suffice. For example, any date in July will be suffice. But for the weekly contracts, we have to set the exact expiry date. Say if we want to view the seventh uh, you know uh, the option contract for this for this date that is 7th July uh, 22 we have to set the exact date and in the option definition we have to select the suitable instrument definition this is nifty and since it's weekly, we will select the options weekly. We will click on OK and click on search. Now this will populate all the available strikes for that expiry. Now if we, since we are selecting the weekly contracts for example, if we set a different date, let's say 6 and click on search, it won't populate anything. You have to select the exact expiry date for, for the weekly. However, for the monthly, uh, any date of that month is suffice. For example, if we change the option definition out here, 
to the monthly contract that that is this one and we click on ok and click on search this will populate all the strike price for that for for the july contracts basically so let us go ahead and populate some uh, some strikes so let's say we want to view 15700 800 and 15900 strikes and we click on ok ok now the data is populated now as you can see here the instrument this this is the calls here the EMA open interest delta implied volatility ask and so the for the calls out here and for the puts is on the left right hand side the option chain view also supports instrument linking and you can easily link it with a chart or any other views which support instrument linking. So I have a couple of charts open out here and let us go ahead and link it. So we will select the appropriate color in the instrument linking drop downs and now uh, it is essentially linked. So if we select any contracts out here, the corresponding charts will also change. So let us select this 15700 call. Now as you can see, the chart also changes to the 15700 calls. If you select the corresponding put, the chart will change. And this is true for any ins instrument in the option chain view. So if you select the 15900, the charts will also change. So this is a very easy way of viewing the charts on the fly. To place an order from the option chain view, you can simply select the necessary account and you can press plus or minus to invoke the order dialog. You can also place the order from the charts etc. Now the option chain view also support the basket uh, orders. So you can simply right click and click on the option basket order. This will bring up the basket order view and you can add the instrument as per your desires or it the option chain view also lets you predefine the instrument in the basket. You can simply right click on the selected instrument and click on add nifty to the basket and click on buy or sell. So we will let's say we want to buy this and we want to sell the corresponding put for example. So we will simply select it and click on the option sell. Now as you can see this will be highlighted in green indicating buy and this will be highlighted in red indicating sell. Now if we invoke the basket these instruments will be auto populated. Now the order action or the order type uh, you know the product time in force and the quantity are defined from the settings view. If we go to settings option in the orders tab we can define what the order type will be but the product and time and force and we can also define the quantity. Here in the quantity size we have defined the option quantity size as 3. So if you see when we invoke the basket the quantity is defined as 3. So these are the quick way of uh, you know placing an order from the option chain view, 